Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about the Black Friday market crash and basically this is going to be episode one of the series. I'm going to try to get out videos weekly, uh, maybe twice, three times a week um, of this series because I do think that it needs to be addressed. Um, so yeah, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you are new and let's just get right into the video. I currently have been trading a decent amount in the past week. Um, I haven't posted in a week just because I have been busy. But yeah, I've traded a decent amount. I mean, I picked these up at like 30K um, and flipped them for like 43. I know right now he's like 47. He's probably going to hit 50 to 60 in the next coming days. Um, but I sold these a couple days ago. Um, those I just sold a couple days ago. And then Pierre's actually got out like 200K. So that was a nice deal. We can clear all those. Um, this is a move that I picked up today. I got Fabinho's for like anywhere under 38k. Um, I did pick a couple of them up for like 37, 35k um, right there. And I've just been listening to this on the market just because. Um, Fabinho was like 50k last weekend. So I think he could hit somewhere around there again this weekend. Um, but after this weekend, I think the market is going to crash um, a decent amount. Right now he's like 38k, you guys could pick him up if you wanted to. I just wanted to keep around 100k to trade with um, today and tomorrow. Um, but yeah, getting into the video, I'm going to be talking about the squad I'm rocking. It's pretty simple. Um, I did in fact pack UCL Griezmann, which is kind of nice. Um, yeah, that's the team I'm rocking. It's pretty cheap. Um, I'm going to use this team for next couple of weeks just because the market's going to be crazy. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna use the cheap team. You guys should too. And now we will get in to the video. If I bring you guys over to Footbin really quick, All right? We can look at players. Um, I did want to talk about 83s and all that because what EA have done this year is they've kind of made the price of 83s go up a lot, so people couldn't really invest in them. Um, right now they're like 2k I think the cheapest 1.9k um, I don't really see these going down again maybe during rewards they'll be down for a little bit but I don't I don't see you guys being able to pick them up for like 800 coins 700 coins like last year you could you could just buy like as many coins as you had worth of 83s at 700 coins um, and then sell them at like 2 3k when Black Friday hit those team of the week packs um, and you'd be making a lot of coins. This year is different. They've upped the prices. And if they go look like 84s, they've done the same because this is all people did last year, right? Stock their clubs with 84s. 84s are 5k. So that's not what you're wanting to look at right now. Um, but what we are gonna want to look at are high rated cards. These are not too bad. 16k for an 87 rated card. That's not terrible, um, and it is not. It's not a goalie, right? It's a decent league. Um, it's an amazingly top five league, top five nation, um, and it's a center forward. So that's a great investment. I would say, like to be honest, if you guys have the coins, just club stock one of each, even the UCL version, um, just because, because like UCL bins them is 17k. His normal card 16.75 so you can get the UCL and him because who knows they could do a crazy requirement um, during Black Friday with like you need a UCL team 87 rated right then of course the UCLs are gonna shoot up um, so I'm probably gonna be investing in some of those if we go look at 88s these are also pretty low uh, 20k for an 88 rated card then you got Loris at 21k David Silva at 21k so I would say pick pick these up under 25k if you can one of each club stock um, I'm gonna try and do this at rewards tomorrow just because I know team of the week's coming tomorrow and they're not gonna release a huge SPC the same day they release team of the week 89s as well I'm I'm gonna be literally club stocking all of these um, I might just do only one of these because I don't have like 10 mil so I can't really club stock every single player um, but I do probably all these under 30k 
and then if you go into the 90s 91 92 these are a bit pricey but not really um, I'd probably get one like both of these guys and then we go look at 91 is there even I mean, O Black for 38k, you could invest in. Um, so that's basically it for the SBCs. We go back to FIFA. Um, I do want to look at meta players because I think that's a good way to check the market. Neymar is currently like 850, I want to say. Probably cheaper than that. 870 880 all right so he's like 880 um i i'm probably gonna make a concept squad with meta tier players neymar mbappe um is mbappe a million no that's kind of crazy oh okay 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 i he went down i thought he was up i thought he was up he's not um he's actually cheaper than neymar which is kind of crazy uh, i don't really think that he should be cheaper than neymar um, but yeah, I'm probably going to make a concept squad with these high rated players, Messi, Neymar, Mbappe, Ronaldo. I know Messi's up a decent amount because he is out of packs. Ooh, he's actually up a lot because he's out of packs. He was like a mil. Now he's like 1. What, 1.7. Um, but yeah, I would just look at these guys um, and basically just check their prices. I think that this weekend is going to be the last weekend for them to be up in price um i think that after this weekend they're just going to drop a ton um saturday and monday or sunday and monday i think they're going to drop a ton um just because people are in that panic of black friday is going to be here in two weeks i could use a bad team for one weekend league um obviously the pros are going to keep on using the best team that they possibly could but casuals like me and you guys, if you're willing to make coins, could just use a cheap team, like a 100k team, um, if even that. So you guys could do even cheaper than that. If you guys wanted to cash out, um, be liquid, I would start club stocking um, as soon as you can. I think the prices are pretty good right now. If you did want to wait till Thursday for rewards to snipe or bid on them, you guys could. Um, but yeah, that is basically it for this Black Friday market crash video. So if you guys aren't new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.